and the Sultan's price is agreed to. We will not interfere with the Empire's business in the Balkans, and you will not interfere with Italian affairs. Wonderful. Isn't diplomacy amazing? Have a good day, my friend. Gustavo, you've been troubled since Rudolfo died. I understand you are friends, but the people have elected you to lead us. How can you sit in your chamber for two days like this? Do not mistake my seclusion with an action, my dear Nicolette. I have been thinking, planning. There is much troubling me, and I wonder how Rodolfo would have dealt with it. I am yet new to this. Please, Gustavo, share with me your concerns. We are well, yet I have hardly seen you in these past few days. Our Republic prospers. Yet I cannot help but see the threats. Spain has claimed the throne of Naples, and if we are to unite Italy, we will be hard-pressed to defeat them. I have thought of some ways the French may aid us. The Pope still refuses to integrate his lands for the wider protection our Republic could bring. I cannot help but sympathize with the reformists in Germany. I understand how it would seem like the Pope is more interested in land and money than in God. That sounds like heresy, Gustavo. Empathy is not agreement, my sweet. In any case, we must subdue both of them before we can bring republicanism to the rest of Europe. We cannot have hostile ports to land troops past our mountain passes. Sicily and Sardinia will be vital as well. I am only wondering which to claim first. Let me draft a letter for the French court. Perhaps we can promise them riches or land to help us. I'm sure the French king would love to weaken his rival. Very well. We will attack Spain. If you can secure French assistance, I will bring this plan to the council. And so it began, some years after the unification of Northern Italy, that the Republic of Milan was able to use their diplomatic abilities to call the French into a war against Spain. It would not be a long war. The might of Italian condottieri and French knights quickly overcame the token Spanish army in Naples and overran the borders of the Pyrenees. The war was not all that difficult. After several years of fighting, Spain surrendered. Many in Europe expected the Italians to claim Naples. After all, one of the main claims the Italians had pressed was their right to unite all Italians under their banner. However, it was not to be. A stroke of genius luck appeared in the form of a captured Neapolitan lieutenant. Naples had not been under Spain's thumb for long, and many still remembered the old days of their own republic. The lieutenant offered his services in reviving the republican movement of Naples. After a few days of careful consideration, the republic agreed. They supplied the lieutenant with many weapons and supplies, and released him back into Naples. True to his word, the man was able to garner significant support for republicanism and led a large revolt on the occupied capital, successfully breaking free of Spanish rule. In their peace deal, the Italians demanded the island of Sicily, a shock to many in the region. But the Italians knew that soon Naples would be free of Spain, and that they could eventually rope them into the fold. The French were satisfied with the glory they received, as well as the many riches they obtained from looting the rich ports of Spain. It was a successful conquest, and the people of Italy celebrated long afterwards. Milan had been in talks to integrate the Papal States for several years. As a means to pacify the Pope and show him the Republic's good intentions, they had declared themselves the defender of the faith promising to protect the lands of Catholics from outside religions encroaching on them. When the Sultan declared war in Spain for the region of Tunisia, Italy had no choice but to come to their recent enemy's aid. 350,000 Turkish troops swarmed into the Barbary coast. Would the Catholics be able to resist such a large army, backed by another 300,000 reserves waiting to reinforce the Sultan's army?
the Italian sacrifice made the war too costly for the Sultan. He made a truce with the Spaniards, agreeing that no land would swap between the nations. Unfortunately for the Italians, the Spanish were humiliated by the fact that their recent conqueror had been the one to save them, and they would not forget that grudge, as the Republic went on to unite the rest of Italy. And thus, even though they didn't know it now, Italy was about to enter a series of wars for its very existence. <laughs>